no, 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 nothing's, you know, it's just the, both those belts look exactly the same to me, you know, I'm still learning about this stuff and, uh, <laughs> this stuff? Oh, okay, I see, you think this has nothing to do with you. You go to your closet and you select, I don't know, that lumpy blue sweater, for instance, because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back, but what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue, it's not turquoise, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. And you're also blithely aware of the fact that in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns, and then I think it was East Alabama, who showed cerulean military jackets, I think they did a jacket there. And then Cerulean quickly showed up in collections of eight different designers. And then it uh, filtered down through the department stores and then trickled on down into some tragic casual corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin. However, that blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs. And it's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff. Well, let me tell you something, honey. If you want drama, you came to the right place because I'll give it to you here. Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. <laughs> and he gives me some line about some old lady he lives with, and he asked if he could go back to my place. I told him, I don't invite strangers up to my apartment. And then he looks down at his crotch and then back up at me and he says, it's big, it's beautiful, and you're gonna love it. And I said, oh, all right. <laughs> As he walked me back to my apartment on that Gay night of nights. He took my hand gently into his. The truth is, Gabriel, when we got back to my party, he grabbed me, he threw me out of bed, he tore all my clothes. Will you hold on one goddamn minute? Christ! Now I forgot where I was. Where was I? He threw you on the bed, tore off all your clothes. Right, right. So I'm looking at his balls. Next thing I know. <laughs> He comes in my eye and he's out the door. God! You ever get a come in your eye, Gabriel, hmm? It burns. My life is a drama. It's beginning, a middle, and no end. I went down. I know. Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mommy dearest. We have retired you 
You drove Al Steve to his grave, and now you're trying to stab me in the back? Forget it! I fought worse monsters than you for years in Hollywood. I know how to win the hard way. Miss Crawford, we don't want any hard feelings. You don't know what hard feelings are until I come out publicly against your product and you'll see how much you sell. Please, Miss Crawford, it's hardly necessary to make threats you surely don't mean. Don't fuck with me, fellas! Well, let me tell you something, honey. If you want drama, you came to the right place because I'll give you the key. Excuse me. Aren't you Marjorie Lee Minnick, the current Miss Georgia World? Why, well, yes, I am. I'm Julia Schubert, Suzanne Schubert's sister. I couldn't help overhearing part of your conversation. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was here. Yes, and I gather from your comments there are a couple of other things you don't know, Marjorie. For example, you probably didn't know that Suzanne was the only contestant in Georgia pageant history to sweep every category except congeniality. That is not something the women in my family aspire to anyway. It's really or hard. that when she walked down the runway in her swimsuit, five contestants quit on the spot. Or that when she emerged from the isolation booth to answer the question, what would you do to prevent war? She spoke so eloquently of patriotism, battlefields, and diamond tiaras, grown men quit. This really and you probably didn't know, Marjorie, that Suzanne was not just any Miss Georgia. She was the Miss Georgia. She did not twirl just a baton. That baton was on fire. And when she threw that baton into the air, it flew higher, further, faster than any baton has ever flown before, hitting a transformer and showering the darkened arena with sparks. And when it finally did come down, Marjorie, my sister caught that baton. And 12,000 people jumped to their feet for 16 and one half minutes of uninterrupted thunderous over as flames illuminated her tear-stained face. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the lights went out in Georgia.